subscribe to boost tip session if you haven't and today we are going to install the custom arch on bare metal with gui nine selectable graphical environments for installation that are xfce norm plasma cinnamon buzzy open box i3 mate and dpin so i'll be installing dpin in this video you can choose these ones also i will be showing you all of it so it's called custom because we will be having separate home root and swap partitions for future security if we have some problems in the futures then we will only format root partition and saving the home partition data okay so we will set up the complete system from scratch okay so let's begin in here first of all we will be downloading calum arch installer search for it on google and you will see the first link source forge.net just click on this link scroll down go to the files here here you can see it support both legacy bios or uefi and looks support is also there and you can read these rolling release so you will get updates monthly basis or you can say daily go to the files click on arch installer here you will get the latest iso okay so just download it i have already run it so here is my iso download rufus and these rufus files i will be providing its link in the description download them now connect your usb pen drive 4 gb is enough because it's only 1.5 gb iso okay now double click on rufus to launch it click on yes in the pop-up menu and now you will be seeing rufus running you can check for updates click on yes now here you can see that our pen drive has been detected by rufus now you have to select the iso file so click on disk or iso image click on select and now you get this iso file just choose calum arch installer iso click on open it now you have this scheme mbr or gpt choose mbr and in the target system bios or uefi so it will work for both in the file system you have to choose fat32 now click on start and now here you have to pay attention you need to select this second option right in dd image mode okay because if you choose this you will be having installation errors during the installation and you have to just choose this one second one okay and click on okay click on okay to format so make sure you have backup all the data from the pen drive now it will format it click on okay deleting the partitions it's writing the image so just wait for it so now that you have flashed the iso in the usb pen drive just click on close from here and you have to restart your pc and boot the pen drive okay i'll be showing you right now so now i have just restarted the laptop and open up the boot menu just check for your manufacturer keys for opening the boot menu okay so now we are going to open up the uefi because i am using uefi so i have this one here uefi send disk so you may have just a send disk here so press enter here now you can see this prompt here arch installer so you need to open up this arch installer press enter now it's loading up the things you can see and we have successfully launched our installer okay so we are going to just go into the arch linux now so now we have booted into the arch linux now what you have to do is just open up the terminal from here okay and inside the terminal you have to type sudo space su for the root user okay now after that you have to update the mirror list okay so just copy this command just drag and drop it into the terminal and press enter because if you don't update you won't get high speed okay so now you have to edit this file just type nano in the front space drag and drop this command all the commands will be given in the file in description okay so here you see hash in front of all these 
so it says that these are not configured so to use the servers you have to remove the hash in front of it so find your nearest server here with the country name they are listed and the nearest server to me is from India so I am going to use this one here okay the second server now press ctrl o in the keyboard press enter to write these files ctrl x to exit okay now after that you have to update the mirror list press enter so now when we are launching this command you can see that the database is locked so for this you have to delete the file let me show you just a minute if I install a software it's saying that you have to remove this file if you're not using it so we are going to remove this file copy this and type rm space hyphen rf space the file name we just copied and press enter now if we execute the command the pacman and now if we update the mirror list it is synchronizing the package databases and here it is downloading the packages to update the files to be downloaded so the server near to me is not giving me the speed so I will just edit the file again this one and we will use the worldwide server okay so we will use the first one control or to write press enter control x to exit this file and now we will update the mirror list again and now we are getting the speed right so it's preferred that you use that one so it's saying download size we're not gonna download so just type n and press enter so now let me install OBS for recording the video so now that you have updated the mirrors and ready for the installation okay so if you had some home root and swap partition from the previous installation then you have to go to the G parted here okay press enter and now in the G parted choose your hard disk or the SSD you're using so you see this sign here this was on the home partition also so I just fixed it and now you have to do the same for root partition also click on it click on check the same I did for the home partition earlier this one was my home partition I have just labeled it so the same you have to do with the root partition if you have such kind of problems you do have to check it okay now click on the stick mark click on apply now these both has been fixed click on close now this sign will disappear okay and here you can see the sign has disappeared so you have to do for both partitions okay now close it now if you are changing the distribution I mean you have one Linux distro earlier and you want to use another this time okay so what you have to do is like you had Ubuntu at the first place and now you want to install Arch Linux so we have different distros here okay Ubuntu and Arch so for this if you want to save your home partition then you have to mount the home partition here first of all sudo su for the root user access now type mount mount the partition name dev sdb8 it was my home partition okay so i'm just going to mount it to the location forward slash mnt and press enter now in the mnt folder go to the file system mnt here you can see the home partition here boost up station now just press ctrl h in the keyboard to show the hidden files and folders now you have to delete all these dot folders okay because these are the configuration files from the earlier installation i had arch before so i just want to reinstall it without any configuration files okay and select these files also i mean to say you have to select all files with dot in front so these are the only files let me maximize it now here you can see all dot files here and these files and folders both okay and just 
press shift and delete in the keyboard and click on delete now it's deleting all the configuration files from the previous installations now after deleting this i also want to delete this folder just close it and let it delete the files so now it's just going to finish now after doing all the operations on the home partition you have to unmount this using this command just press enter now we have unmounted the partition close the terminal from here close window and now you have to run the arch installer okay make sure you are connected to the internet here you have to choose your language okay now let it finish now click on next after choosing the language choose your region and zone next now here you have to choose your language and the keyboard layout here okay so i'm gonna choose english us and the type of keyboard i'm gonna use is default one that is a qwerty okay and click on next now choose the hard disk or ssd which you want to install arch linux on we will be doing manual partitioning because we want to have separate home root and swap partitions click on next now i have sdb7 as my root partition so click on it click on edit click on format the size must be greater than 30 gb for installing good amount of softwares in future ext4 mount point forward slash and click on ok you can even delete it and create a new partition also but i am using the same one sdb8 is my home partition click on edit click on keep we don't want to format it because we want to save our home partition okay and ext4 the same we cannot change the format we cannot change the format here so let it be ext4 in the mount point choose slash home okay and click on okay from here now you see the mount points here in the swap click on edit and it's already linux swap or you can just format it and choose linux swap here click on okay and now you have these three partitions ready now we want to choose the efi partition or the legacy you can say which is used in the bios okay so just click on the partition click on edit you want to keep it because i have two other distributions installed in the laptop so i want to keep it fat32 in the mount point it is boot efi okay make sure you choose this if you're using efi otherwise choose this if you're using bios okay so i'm using uefi so i'm going to choose here efi all right and choose this boot and esp okay and click on okay from here now this is boot efi now after this we have to just click on sdb7 and click on next now here the things come which desktop you want to install there are a lot of options okay so i want to go for the deep in so we'll just choose click on here and all of these packages will be installed so make sure you are connected to the internet okay so deep in is chosen here in the web browsers choose firefox or chromium or opera as you wish so after selecting these two are the main the desktop environment and the base level okay base level click on next now you have to type your name so if you are coming from the previous installation with the same home partition then you have to choose the same username which you had earlier in the previous installation otherwise you can choose any okay if you want to use the same home partition then you have to choose the same username right and choose the same password here which you had earlier if you're installing on previous home partition okay you can you can also use the same password for the administrative account okay now click on next after this make sure these details are correct because if you're not using the same username which you had earlier on the home partition then your files will be there in different folders other than the bootstrap station in the home partition click on next now it's a summary here so it will format sdb7 that's a root partition sdb9 that's a linux swap and sdb8 will not be formatted because we didn't select it fat32 that the boot efi point and install arch linux on sdb7 that is our root partition ext4 and ext4 sdb8 that is the mount point of home partition without formatting it okay now click on install now click on install now it's mounting the partitions and it will get the data downloaded from the internet it's formatting the partition you can see the details here 
installing the base file system here now here you can see that it is still 21 percent it is because it is downloading the files from the internet let me show you go to the file system war cage pacman packages and now here you see so it has just downloaded this much mb of data from the internet so that is the reason why it is still 21 so after downloading all the packages it will just install them okay and now you see it is just 37 percent now 53 so it has downloaded all the packages and now it's installing it and now it is installing the packages and now after 20 minutes it's 78 percent because my internet speed was very slow so it's got 93 percent installing the bootloader okay 96 partition and it's all done okay so now you just have to restart the pc okay and click on done we will also be setting up the system so watch the video ahead also move the pen drive and here you can see that we got the option here so we are booting up the arch linux with the deep in desktop environment okay we also did got the option for the windows because i am dual booting and here you can see that we have come to the login screen just enter the password and press enter Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.